This is Alex at Accessories International, and today we're going to be showing you how to import boot logos into your new DMP Android command screen for Mercedes Benz. Now, this screen comes with some generic boot logos preloaded, but for those who may want a more custom Mercedes logo or AMG logo, this video is going to address that and how to do it step by step. What you're going to need to do, you need two items a USB flash drive and a computer. And lastly, you're also going to need access to the USB female end, which comes as part of the Android wiring harness. You're gonna to need to be able to plug in your USB drive into this in order to load the boot logos in. Now, as for the files, we do provide the full files and boot logos that you'll need for your screen. They're all different depending on your system version, but we'll have you covered here at Accessories. We'll make sure that you get the right files. If you order from us, we're based out of Miami, Florida. We provide all of these files and boot logos as well as any updates you might need free of charge. Now, looking at the screen itself, if you go into your factory settings and you go into this boot logo page, you see we have a couple of generic boot logos that are preloaded, a welcome screen, earth, car headlights, and we can go to page two and you have this old school car, but we have this import option here, which is what we're going to use to import the new boot logos. And we can also customize boot logos if you actually want your own car to show up. We can design the boot logos for you so that you can have them directly here and have a full customized boot logo launch when your screen first turns on. Now we're gonna show you how it's done and get right to it. We'll begin by getting our computer and our USB drive and opening up the email that we will send you with a copy of the file that you'll need. You can go ahead and hit this download button on the file in order to begin the download. Once you hit the download button, the file will begin to download up on the corner of your browser. Allow some time for the file to download and once it is done, you'll see that the download has finished. You can then plug in the USB drive into your computer and see that your computer detects your USB drive. Once the drive is detected, go ahead and open up this USB drive file and make sure that you delete any files that you have saved on the drive. If you need to back these files up first, make sure to do so, but we do wanna make sure that the drive is totally empty so that we can properly move this new file into the drive. Once your download is done, you can grab the file and drag it down into your USB drive. You can do this as we show in the video by simply dragging it over to this file browser, going into the USB drive folder and releasing it. It'll then begin to copy it. And once it is done, you'll see the file here in your USB drive. Be sure that the file stays in zipped format. As you can see here, it does show compressed zipped folder. You do not want to unzip it. If not, the screen will not read the file. Once the file has been transferred to the drive, you can eject the drive and remove it and go back to your vehicle to now plug it in. Once you have the boot logos loaded into your USB drive, you're gonna come back to the screen and grab the wiring harness here and slim, simply plug them into each other. Once you have them plugged in, you're gonna look at the screen and you'll have an icon that appears on the screen that shows this USB being detected. You need to make sure the USB is detected in order for this process to work. Once it's detected and you have it plugged in, you're gonna go into your settings, down to factory. Passcode on our screens is 190627. This should work across of different screens as well. You can try it out and see if it works for you. Go down to the bottom option on the left side here and hit boot logo. Now you'll hit import. It'll give you this option and you'll hit okay. If done successfully, it will say import successful. We'll navigate back into our settings, go down to factory once again, come down into the boot logos, and in page two, you'll now see the Mercedes logo and the AMG logo, as well as any other logos that you may have had loaded. If we custom design them for you, we do have the ability to actually use a photo that you send us to design your own boot logo animation as well if you want your own car or your own photo. Once you have that done, you can select the boot logo that you want. We'll start with our Mercedes logo here. Go back home, and the next time that we turn the screen on, it'll start up with that Mercedes logo and we'll give you a demonstration here as well. My name is Alex at Accessories International and I'd like to thank you for tuning into our video today. We're a family owned business that was established in 1998 out of Miami, Florida. If you have any questions on the product review that you've just seen, feel free to give us a call at 786-242 
5400. Thanks again for tuning in.